Hey guys, Paige Vandevere here, and I want to talk to you about a breakthrough strategy for your brand or for your e-com. I'm going to show you an example. I'm going to talk to you about three reasons why you should be using it, and I'm also going to go through a few different ways to use it because there are a lot of different types of brick and mortars and e-coms that could use this so and that should be using this moving forward. Again, my name is Paige Vandeveer and I own an agency in Austin, Texas. We have clients that have been seen all over the world, CNN, Good Morning America, People Magazine, Shark Tank, you name it, they've been there. And our team also generates max impact results for our clients. So we wanna help you consider how to roll this out so that you're prospering right now in fourth quarter 2020 and beyond. So let's actually begin with this. This is the Starbucks Fallifier, and today's date is August 27th. So we all know that in North America, according to the calendar, technically the first day of fall isn't until next month. And in Texas, where I am, it's like 91 degrees. So we won't be enjoying fall for about two months now. However, Today is the day that Starbucks is rolling out their uh, fall collection of drinks. So uh, it used to be following Labor Day, the Tuesday following Labor Day, but they introduced new products closer to Thanksgiving. They rolled uh, their fall collection up, so the Tuesday before uh, Labor Day, and that's today. And so we're gonna look at this as an example. I'm gonna tell you why this is something that you want to use. We'll go through the three reasons why, as well as some things to include in your live streams to make them more effective for you. So number one, branding. As the platforms continue to begin uh, become more and more competitive, not just in fourth quarter where everybody rolls out with the big guns, but overall, this platform is growing in its saturation. And one of the ways to stand out is by committing to the lifestyle of your end user, by telling the stories of your end user and making them the hero, by adding value to their life, by creating content that aligns with your mission, vision, USP, UVP, and ultimately win in the long run because really in today's day and age, the brands that are going to thrive are the ones that are investing for the long run, employing strategies just like this one. So number two, retargeting audiences. Now, when it comes to getting max impact with your ad spend, one of the things that is becoming more and more prevalent is implementing really hyper-targeted retargeting audiences, knowing exactly where and when to push in order to get the impact that you're looking for. So for example, right now, uh, generating a custom audience based off of video views of 25%, 50%, and 75%, and 90, 95%, you can gauge depth of engagement. That's gonna be useful for Black Friday, Cyber Monday. Brands are developing their audiences earlier and earlier so that their retargeting audiences are already warm by the time that they hit BFCM. If you are waiting until November 1st or November 15th to start your BFCM efforts, you are gonna be behind the ball. I mean, and you may still be able to prosper, but here's the deal is that you really need to have a warm audience that already knows who you are. And um, I can guarantee you that in fourth quarter that uh, Starbucks will be using the video engagement and depth of engagement in their retargeting campaigns to drive traffic to their stores to drive online sales. So it should be the same for you. That's one a major, major benefit. We've got some uh, hyper-targeted uh, middle of funnel, bottom of funnel video ads uh, based on depth of engagement and they're generating like 12X return on ad spend. It's one of the most efficient places that you can spend. Uh, the next thing would be that it, it's really good for your brand, for your company in the long run in terms of the platform engagement. So we all know that the algorithms have been tweaked and changed videos and live streams rank higher in the algorithms. They go further, they're a better investment spend on your money. Uh, video views are some of the most inexpensive ways to get in front of people. Uh, and I would also say that because the platform is built on depth of engagement, comments are ranked really 
really highly. So uh, what a lot of people don't know is that all of these comments that people are leaving here in the stream are actually benefiting Starbucks in the back end and creating a better cost per thousand when they go and bid for ads in fourth quarter. That's known as effective cost per thousand ECPM. And basically it rewards advertisers, brand managers, and those that have all their data collected and business managers who have higher engagement so that they pay less when it comes time to ad spend. So more efficiency over the long run. They're also using live streams here for what it's meant for. It's not just a broadcast one-way model, but they're actually allowing for interaction, allowing people to vote on what gets to be put in the Fallify pumpkin spice latte cup. So they're actually creating some content that's entertaining. I can guarantee you that on a Tuesday afternoon, there are people that are at work or they're on their phone and they tune into this for just a few minutes. Even at this point, I think there was something like 1.7K or 2.5K people were, were watching live. Um, just a heads up, Starbucks has about 38 million in terms of um, followers. So, I mean, that that's not a huge percentage, but at the same token, when it comes to sales and then retargeting these people immediately with a discount code on the back end of this, and then in six weeks when they release something else, then it's going to matter. So again, those are the three reasons, branding, uh, retargeting audiences for efficient uh, and effective returns, and then platform ecosystem engagement. It's just better for you in the long run. Let's talk about different ways to implement this because we've got a lot of different e-coms out there. We've got uh, fashion, we've got lifestyle based, we've got the product solutions, we've got um, family, I suppose. There was another one, too many thought trains trying to get out at the same, at the same time. But let's say you're a fast paced fashion or you're a high fashion e-com, um, style shows would be really effective at live streaming those and then prompting people to go online to look at your lookbook and to give them a gift on top of what they bought that particular day. So if you're a luxury store, don't feel like you have to discount if you feel like it tarnishes your brand image. Go ahead and give them a gift instead. And uh, let's say faith, you're a faith-based e-com. So one of our clients is a faith-based e-com. So live streaming devotionals, live streaming things relevant to testimonies and stories of their um, progress in life, that's relevant. Uh, announcing a new line, a new collection, sharing stories, testimonials, and reasons why if you're a product solutions based ecom than telling the stories of the people whose lives you've changed like live streaming that would be a big deal interviewing people before and after those would be really effective things if you're an adventure brand being at, at an x games um event or live streaming a an interview or a podcast that you do with people that are really well known in that demographic that's really effective this is awesome for big brands but i want to tell you little brands use this too we were in a strategy session a few months ago with this tiny little brand in i believe it's it's tennessee and they uh, they're implementing this in in their brick and mortar as they're live streaming a look that they've put together talking about it talking about how it relates and even for a smaller feed this is effective in terms of generating engagement and sales. So here's some things that you should definitely do is make sure that you are offering people an incentive inside the end of the live streams or during the live stream. Make sure that you include engagement, allow them to ask questions, allow them to vote on what's happening, uh, create some way that people can be engaging with you. Also make sure to drive people to your email sequences. Remember that this is about repeat purchases, not just new customers. So getting people in those email sequences, that's a really effective place where uh, you wanna make sure that you're capturing new people, rewarding them in your welcome sequence um, and making sure to capture them in the in the back end in that abandoned sequence and the post purchase you really want to make sure that you're pouring when you spend money on generating something like this which doesn't have to be this pre-produced although this is in brand and in context for them uh, you want to make sure that you're pouring water into a bucket that isn't leaking. So again, my name is Paige Vandeveer. I hope this has been useful for you. My team and I implement full sequences. So everything from ads to fixing websites and implementing the pop-ups, pop-overs, uh, and adjusting with appropriate plugins, things of that nature, all the way through email sequences. So making sure that you're segmenting properly and getting your max return on investment there. So if you would like to have a, strat a strategy session with me or one of my team members, uh, go to Facebook, or simplyheavendesign.com slash e-commerce. Don't go to Facebook. Go to simplyheavendesign.com slash e-commerce and uh, book a free strategy session.
actually sit down and talk about your specific brand and how that's doing. Again, Paige Vandeveer, thanks for joining me for right now. And I'm actually going to go grab a pumpkin spice frappuccino because again, it's 91 degrees outside. I'll see you guys later. Bye.